Today, families in Columbiana County came to a mobile food distribution. Second Harvest Food Bank provided 35,000 pounds of food. 27 First News reporter Vince Call tells us how it worked and why the food bank is on the road. It's overwhelming how much they support us and how much they care and, and appreciate us coming here. Brandon Warner is one of 26 members of the Ohio National Guard who helped pass out food today at Beaver Local Schools. This is the third stop for Second Harvest Food Bank's traveling pantry. They brought enough food to feed 600 families. Warner says he notices people in rural areas are less used to help than those in more populated areas. They seem a lot more relieved that when, when, when we show up, they're not used to having the, the help. They're, they're still doing this, whether we're here or not. Because if you have to drive, you know, 10, 20 miles to get to a food distribution, it can be a hardship. Becky Page from the food bank says she knows rural areas have their own food security struggles. Since the pandemic started, the need for the food bank has increased, but especially in less populated areas. Page noticed for people here, the mix of new job losses and fewer food stores in the area creates an issue. The traveling pantry is currently taking requests for which part of the valley to go to next. Um, so next week we'll start the next round of planning. Um, so we'll probably start to go up, back up to Trumbull County, come back down into Mahoning and end up down here in Columbiana again. The traveling food pantry was created in response to the growing need. Second Harvest Food Bank and its affiliates now see nearly 18,000 people each week requesting emergency food assistance. In East Liverpool, Vince Call, WKBN 27 First News.